What's up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. So I've made a video about JavaScript callbacks um, and I've also made one just last night actually on JavaScript promises. Uh, basically all of this is, uh, well promises, that deals with asynchronous data return and basically that is just um, having functions on your page that are what we call non-blocking in other words uh, if the user is interacting with it like a button and they click it, it doesn't reload the whole page, but rather it makes a single request that reloads a part of the page, and that's what AJAX is. So asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So uh, today I'm going to be talking about RxJS, which stands for the Reactive Extensions JavaScript, and basically this is a library um, that sort of expands on the idea of promises and allows you to return. Uh, multiple values. Um, I'm still learning about it myself, but I wanted to show you guys a really quick example. Basically, under the hood, it has what's called an observer and an observ observable. Um, so what you do is you can create an, ob an observable, which is, well, it's created for you under the hood, but the observable is like the data that you're watching the event, and the observer watches that, and you can subscribe basically means you're listening you're attaching that event listener well it attaches it under the hood and it will give you notifications on next which just means the next notification um, on air if there's any errors and uh, on um, on completed so when all of the data has come back I mean because that's the idea of a promise it's it's gonna happen sometime in the future but we don't know exactly why and for that reason we can't access the data outside of that promise um, I mean, there's ways around it, but generally you can't. So, in order to instantiate that, we're going to first write a function, which is going to be our API call to GitHub. So the way we do this, we're going to say API call. Let me turn off the auto run JS real quick. Function API call, and all it's going to do is return. Uh, well, first let's add in our library. We got jQuery. We need RxJS. So, um, got those. This is just going to return a Git request to um, HTTPS API dot GitHub dot com slash users slash Anderson TR fifteen. So this is just the this is the HTTP promise that we're getting back. And um, now that we have that, guys, that's good. Um, and we also want to do one more thing. We want to uh, um, to see is it don't promise yet. RxJS provides us with this promise method that actually wraps up whatever we're getting back into a promise. Um, so this should actually be a promise, but just to be sure, we're going to call to promise on it. So now what we need to do is we need to create our event stream. So the way we do that is we call it source, and we're going to subscribe to the source. So our source is going to be rx.observable. So we're querying the rx.observable method, and we're going to say from promise. So obviously we can sort of deduce that we're going to pass this a promise. So the way we do that, we're going to pass an API call. We're going to invoke the function and uh, oh sorry, um, from promise, right, okay, API call. Alright, cool. So we got our source. And now we can access the observable subscribe method. And this will take in, this has three functions on it, three callback functions. First, it has the on next, which takes the data, and you can just log out um, data retrieved next plus data. And then it also has the function on air. So this is just like the, the dot then, dot done, dot success, dot fail, all that stuff. Uh, well, not dot then, but dot done, dot fail, dot error. And um, this, we're just going to console.log error retrieving data. And um, plus the data. Well, let's change this to error. And change this to error. And then finally, it has a final function, final callback function, which is sort of like the dot finally that I think has been deprecated but so you could just say on completed and you pass this this doesn't take in anything this will just run when everything has um, when the whole when the promises come back 
all of the data has come back, whether it's uh, whether it's failed or whether it's uh, uh, responded with the correct status code, and we've gotten back what we want. So we'll just say completed HTTP request cycle. Um, so we got that. Let's actually run this real quick, see if we're getting any errors. All right, so right now we're getting data retrieve next. So that's good, right? That doesn't really tell us anything. Completed HTTP request cycle. And right, if we change this to 16, we should say error retrieving data. And let's see, error retrieving. And let's see, function on completed. Let me look really quickly in this function on completed. Let's see. Yes. Data map. Think real quick. Guess I did something wrong. Let's see. So we have the So we got the air. Right. Make sure we got it on completed. Right. Okay. So let me just go back in here. Oh, sorry. This JS bin that I have. And this is air. Let me to go back to 15. Okay. Right. So that, that's going to stop after it airs right there. Um, so obviously this has to be, I guess, I guess we would, uh, I guess this would err more, more so on, um, the condition that the whole API was, was down or just was, um, just not being able to retrieve it for some reason. But, uh, I, I guess I'll have to look into that because I thought this should fire regardless. So like 20, yeah. And if we actually want to see, like, say we want to get my name out of here, we can just say var name equals uh, response dot data dot name, and then we can just say plus name. And then if we go in here, um, oh sorry, we change this to re response response. Function on next var name equals response dot data dot name response dot data dot name. Why is that not? Hold on, let me see what we're getting. Console dot log name. We should be getting back the response object data zero, data one, data two. Let me just see real quick zero. Yeah, it's the response, right? So getting back the object object. Then we go into Oh, okay, right. So I guess it just gives it back to us like that. So response.name, and now we got that. So, and then we could just do on air. We could actually, um, well, we don't want to trigger that, but like again, you know, so we change this out to 16, say air retrieving data. So this runs everything for us. You can actually, I think you can take out this dot promise, um, and it should still run the same way. That's just a nice little wrapper that dot uh, promise that wraps up our data. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys learned a little bit from this. It's pretty, uh, I guess, thick stuff in terms of wrapping your head around what exactly is happening. But um, Hope I could show you guys how to get started. Um, you know, they have some pretty good documentation out there. I'm still learning it myself, but uh, 
yeah guys uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up make sure to like comment subscribe thanks for your feedback thanks for commenting always appreciate it and uh, let me know if you have any suggestions if you want to see any specific videos always appreciate the support and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video have a great day thanks